Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Michelle. So in this video, we're gonna go to Subway together and order a sandwich. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Hello, hi. Um, may I please have an Italian BMT? Okay, so, bread. sorry? A bread. Yeah, um, just regular Italian, like the classic toasted, please. So, um, just six inches, please. Now you can't really hear it in the video, but as I was walking toward the cashier, she said, Hello, welcome to Subway. And I said, Hello, <laughs> may I please have an Italian BMT? Then she said, What kind of bread? And because I didn't really hear her the first time, I said, Sorry? So if you didn't really hear what someone just said, you can ask them to repeat themselves. So some words and phrases you can use are, Sorry? Pardon or pardon me. Sorry, I didn't really quite catch that. Or come again. What was that? And all of these just mean, sorry, I didn't quite hear that. Could you please repeat yourself? So after she said it again and I heard her, I let her know what kind of bread I wanted. So I said, just regular Italian, the classic. Toast it, please. Then she asked, how long? And I replied, just six inches, please. So for Subway, there are two sandwich sizes. The first is the six inch and the other is a foot long. So in this case, I asked for the six inch sub. Hello, hi. Um, may I please have an Italian BMT? Okay, so, bread. sorry? A bread. Yeah, um, just regular Italian, like the classic toasted, please. So, um, just six inches, please. Pepperoni and also salami yeah. and the ham. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Oh, wait, kids. Yes. <laughs> oh, um, can I actually get the cheddar, please? The cheddar instead. Orange cheddar? Yeah, orange cheddar, please. Okay. Thank you. And toasted. Yeah, toasted, please. Thank you. For the meat, I asked for pepperoni, salami, and ham. Then for the cheese, she asked me, white cheese? And I said, yes. But then I changed my mind and I said, can I actually get the cheddar please? The orange cheddar instead. So she made the switch. Then she said, and toasted, right? And I confirmed, yes, toasted please. Thank you. Pepperoni and also salami. And the ham, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. And toasted. Oh, um, can I actually get the cheddar, please? The or, cheddar instead? Orange cheddar? Yeah, orange cheddar, please. Okay. Thank you. And toasted. Yeah, toasted, please. Thank you. Uh, yeah, lettuce, please. And also some spinach. Spinach? Yeah, and tomatoes. Um, and also some red onions, and also a little bit of green pepper, and um, some pickles, please. Pickles. And black olives. And also some jalapenos. For the veggies, I asked for lettuce, spinach, tomatoes, red onions, green peppers, pickles, black olives, and jalapenos. So in order to be polite when you're asking for things, you can use this general structure. So you can do name of the thing you want plus please. So for example, you can say lettuce, please. Or you can say, can you please add some? For example, can you please add some lettuce? Or you can also say, can I please have some? For example, can I please have some lettuce? So it's really important to say please and thank you whenever you're asking someone to do something because it's more polite this way. Uh, yeah, lettuce please. And also some spinach. Spinach? Yeah, and tomatoes. Um, and also some red onions. And also a little bit of green pepper. And um, some pickles please. Pickles. And black olives and also some jalapenos and then for the sauce um can i please have some creamy sriracha creamy sriracha 
and also um, some house sauce if you guys still have that. The house sauce. Yes. And that's it. Thank you. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> it's so pretty, I said. Thank you. <laughs> now for the sauce, I said, can I please have some creamy sriracha? Then I also said, and also some house sauce if you guys still have that. So if you guys still have that, what this means is, if the house sauce is still available, can you please put some of it in? Then she asked, that's it? And I replied, that's it, thank you. So when someone says, that's it, they're asking you if there is anything else you would like to order. So when you hear expressions like, that's it? Anything else for you today? Is that all for you today? Is there anything else you would like today? These all indicate that it's now your turn to let her know if there is anything else you want to order. Um, can I please have some creamy sriracha? Creamy sriracha. And also um, some house sauce, if you guys right. still have that. The house sauce. Yes. And that's it, thank you. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> It's so pretty, I said, thank you. Do you want to combo? Uh, no, it's okay, just this, thank you. Do you need a bag? Uh, yes, please. Oh, actually, no, it's okay. Okay. Thank you. It'll be 7.55. Sure, sounds good. I'll pay by Apple Pay. Thank you very much. You too. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Now at the end, she said, thank you. Have a good day. And I said, thank you. You too. So the phrase have a good day is very commonly said. It's a very nice way of saying goodbye. It just means I hope you have a good rest of your day. And of course, I thanked her for her help and also reciprocated by saying you too which is saying, thank you, I hope you have a good day as well. Now I know that you might feel really nervous about having to say all those ingredients when you're ordering, so I have two tips to help you out with that. The first is, if you wanna order in person and you wanna practice your oral English, then you can just download the Subway app, make your order ahead of time, and then practice saying the vocabulary and making the order so that when you're actually at Subway, you already know what you want to say. So this is basically what I did for this video when I was making this video because I haven't been to Subway in quite a while. So I just searched up what I wanted beforehand and then I read it off my phone. The second tip is if you don't feel like, you know, saying all that in person, you can just directly order off the app and then pick up your order or have it delivered to your home. So it's totally up to you, do whatever you're comfortable with. Anyways, that's it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you soon. Thanks again, you guys. Bye.